bring that stuff over, ladies. We are finally finishing our super easy, super cheap, off-grid really nice. tiny house, or maybe tiny cabin, I don't know. We built these, there's two of them, a couple years back, but we never really finished them, you know, siding and a few finishing touches, like a bed. This thing is different than all the other off-grid cabins you've seen. It has a bathroom with a sink and a shower and there's going to be a little composting toilet right there. This is a full service off-grid tiny house and we are going to tune it up right now. The girls milled all sorts of spruce board and batten siding last year and we're just getting to it. So siding and trim on the windows that'll look nice. We got to build like a front little step there. Yeah on the inside a bed a few furnishings and we're gonna fire up the heat on demand hot water shower. We'll set that all up and then we'll show you the toilet system and we'll show you the sink and then we'll show you this whole cabin when it's done. Look at this thing. Oh man. Fits oh, like a glove. baby. Julia's got this siding under control. I, we are gonna build this little patio. 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 Nice. That's going good. It's shaking my whole body. <laughs> what, it is, I can I, feel it. Oh man. How much further? Look at you go. Any further? Yeah, it's fine, but keep going. Yeah. Okay, that's good. No, just a few more. Done. In keeping with this whole project, I think I'm just gonna do a pencil with the do part. A pencil space. Oh yeah. That's how we do that. This is some fancy work. This is how you make boards wider. There it is, our patio. Woohoo! You could set up a chair. beach chair. A lounge maybe chair. Maybe like one of those like little inflatable pools. <laughs> oh, wild. Look at that guy. He kind of looks like a tick. Don't Just like burrowing into your skin, laying eggs. This is looking pretty great. Looking like something. Well, it's looking fabulous. Look at this cabin. It looks like a whole new thing. Here you go. Just a few more trims up along here tomorrow. Yeah. And then we go inside. We get the water working, the potty installed, and then the, the bed. I was thinking Murphy bed, but then we watched Ambition Strikes and looked at like four people worked 24 hours a day for three days. <laughs> and it's beautiful, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm not sure. We got the horses grazing, but we also got the piggies grazing. We dreamed up a brilliant plan for the bed in there. Uh, we just needed to mill some wood. So we'll check on the girls doing that. Find a bigger timber to mill? Well, yeah, it's what was here. <laughs> That's amazing.
have the most amazing idea. It's kind of like a homemade version of a futon building into the wall. Anyways, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a couch, and then it's gonna be a bed. Just like, voila, couch, bed. It's gonna cut out right in here at this height. Okay, so that's gonna cut out. So this whole kind of corner, little X, little X. Keys, keys, little keys. Okay. Okay. Is this kitchy fit? side down? Well, it's gonna fit because. Better fit. Okay, let's square it up a little bit. I'm literally inside the bed right now. It's a nice bed. It's gonna be nice. Wait till you see it like transform. <laughs> this. Move in. What? Uh huh. Stop. This is crazy right there. talk. And then look, this is how you make the bed. Watch, pull it up. Don't. Oh, you're. D oh. We're done. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's great. Does it feel firm? Yes, it feels very solid. I okay. don't feel like it's going to break. This is at better. All. Look at there's like a little secret tunnel. It's for you your could put, storage. You could put children under there, I guess. Okay, Here, let's set it up and see what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> okay you got that? Yeah. Okay. Now we need to push it in. <laughs> Not that Lean it back. Huh? I don't think it should go. Bump it until it's square. Perfect. It's very nice. Get over there, have a look at your handiwork here, Julia. Get in here, Julia. Try it. Wow, how many people can fit on the couch? Hey, not for you. Okay, wow, four on the couch. Works great. Yeah. Ah! Hey? I'm creaking. This is no, I know, this is a strong couch. Hey, that's because Julia built it. <laughs> she doesn't mess around. Okay, this thing works great, and now we just gotta finish up all the magical power system, the water system, the toilet system, and the shower system. There it is. That's the super simplest system ever. I think Shoshana actually built these boxes, didn't she? Yeah, she might yeah. have. Yeah, thanks. I think Shoshana. she built them. And so the trick is you can build these and it's like, you yeah, should, because it's super easy. It's a box with a lid that has a hole that's about the same size as the bucket. And then that's just a five gallon pail. And we use this biodegradable bag and there's sawdust. And then there's just like a regular toilet seat. And it works just like a normal toilet. Except you don't flush it, you put sawdust in it. So we got a little thing of sawdust, a little cup, and you put that in there. But this is fully functional and that toilet will never get plugged. You can't plug that toilet. You can, however, fill it. So yeah, you need a compost bin that's made to empty that bucket into. Rose? Yes. Show them how it works. You turn the tap on. No way. We don't even have that in our house. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> but this tiny little sink thing is just like, it just is like a normal thing. It's amazing. And there's some plumbing down in here. And I got this little accumulator tank. Anyways, it's plumbed up. I got the cold and the hot just going to the same thing because you don't need hot water there. And this drain literally just goes down through the floor and empties out there. Okay, but where does the water come from? It comes from this bucket. This is just a little RV style pump and it's 12 volts. And hence the wiring, I can show you. Look, it just has two wires that come off. And I just moretted them to two more wires and look. 
The black, I just screwed on there. And then because I want to easily connect it or disconnect it, I just put this alligator clip on. So that way I can just like, boom, power off. But I want the power on right now. Power on. And that's just powering the pump. So it'll run approximately, it'll run forever, basically, on that battery. And we got a line that goes over to this guy. And that is a propane heat on demand. So Rose is gonna demonstrate how that works any minute now. <laughs> okay, and then this is, uh, this is roofing metal. And it works great to finish up a shower. And that just drains out the cabin because it's just, it's just nutritious fresh water. That's it. <laughs> and so there you have it. Here's the bathroom. We got the natural light up there. We got the window. So this keeps it closed. Oh, it's peaceful out here. And then if you want to leave it propped open, perfect. That's how you keep it open. So this thing, we might have broke it. We we're going to find out. We kind of left it all season out by the pizza oven. It got all covered with pitch. We also maybe left it on one time. It's like 1000% dead. So hopefully it revives itself. The input watts right now it says it's 23. The battery's at 0%. Hmm. And it says it's going to take 48 hours <laughs> to oh, fully wow. charge. <laughs> there she is. Okay. Time to test that shower. All right. So here's the propane that I was telling you about. It's just a regular propane thing that we put through the wall. There's the shower drain. That's it. I just got it spilling out on the ground. And because it's not used regularly, like, that's all you need. And I think, where's the sink? There's the sink drain right there. Works perfect. It's clicking, the power comes on, and... What? That's, that's not where the shower is supposed to be. So I drained this thing before winter, but maybe that doesn't cut it. It's kind of good that they're only like $200, but it's also terrible that they're $200 because that means they're really terrible. Beautiful. Cute little Blaze King. Yeah. Okay, well, we should go to the other cabin. Yes. And and then I think I'm gonna let you ladies like make this thing a little more beautiful. <laughs> I got like a few little touches here and there. Hey. We'll do our best. This cabin, we have a different strategy. We're using cots down here so that we can change it when we need to. And we're gonna change it from these bunk bed cots to the big man cot. Rose and I actually usually share this if we go in, out in the wall tent because it's massive. That's Outfitter me. XL. But I think it's actually called the big man. Well, cot. we call it the big man Maybe cot. Maybe we just call it that. We also built these secret overhead bunk beds. We built them to fit two single beds. So you can fit a whole pile of kids up there or I mean, whatever. The girls are gonna change these cots in a bit, but we're gonna test this shower to see if this shower survived the winter. Hey. hey! 
Are you the propane delivery system? I guess so. That's perfect. Oh, look at these flowers. Look at the bumblebees on those lupins. Do you see that? That's beautiful. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. Right up and this one's broken too. Wow. Hey. I just had a brilliant idea. This shower thing's killing me, and I can't help but feel kind of ashamed for buying that cheap. Chinese junk in the first place. So obviously, we're gonna simplify. Hi. This looks like a little home, doesn't it? It's cute, hey? It is. And Abby made some little shelves. There's all my precious minerals. Rose's beach chair, and guess who charged? That's right. So it didn't die. That's great, because um, we actually use it. I know, so. Oh, I didn't even notice you turned I know. it on. I was like, what are you doing? Well, barely visible when it's this bright in here. Okay, have you seen what I did? Well, I kind of saw it, but I don't really know how. Do you it's need training? Work. Yeah. Okay. The shower bag. These things work great. On a day like today, you could heat it outside in the sun. It just takes a couple hours. But if it's not sunny, you can just heat water any way you want, and you can still put it in there. Check this out. Um, this is not the right height. Not the right height. Okay, no. watch. Look. Pull down on this guy. Yeah, look at that. Huh. All that is, is a fencing staple. And that's it, you don't even need to tie a knot. Just just a couple wraps. Yeah. Wrap it one more time, just in case. All right. That's it. That's where you want it? Yeah. Okay, prove it. Show me that it works. Here, I'll give you some privacy. <laughs> okay, does that work? Yes. Yeah, it works. Is it awesome? Yep. This cabin has a bathroom. It has a potty, and it has a sink, and it has a shower. <laughs> wow, I thought I was <laughs> having a private shower, but... Well, not really. But like... This Great. is basically the same type of shower pressure that we've had in our house for 12 years, 13 years. Yeah. And we're fine with that. We're fine with that. I mean, would you like more pressure? Do you want, yes. But is it worth a million dollars? No. No. Would you rather, <laughs> would you like to work a job to have more pressure? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it's not like it wouldn't be nice to have like, 10 hours of endless hot water. It's just like, do you want to work a job to do it? Or do you want to have a little homestead? Do you want a view like this? Well? Well. Was that awesome? It was great. This is obviously not your final off-grid house, but this is an amazing off-grid tiny house Cabin. to start with. Like, you can always go from here. But like, if you need to get out and go live on the land, you could build a tiny place like this, 16 by 10. That's how big this is. And you have a living space, you can have friends in here, it even has a bathroom. <laughs> so you guys can do it, that's the point. You guys can build this thing. It's not that hard. Nope. If you love off-grid stuff, you can check out some of these other off-grid videos because they're good.
next sentence when you see the video. Okay.